This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, John Tenta. All of a sudden, he shows up at a dark match for SmackDown tapings, and he's wearing his Earthquake gear, but we haven't seen him around for quite a while. And uh, just recently, photos of this or video of this rather popped up uh, on my timeline, and it stuck out like a sore thumb because it's a 2002 WWE ring, and then here's John Tenta. Uh, it just looked a little time warp. I don't know, make believe Photoshop, but it really happened. Ultimately he doesn't get the nod though. Did you make that call? Why, why did John Tenta need a dark match? Or was it done just out of respect and, and to be deferential to him? Was there not a spot for him? Tell me what you remember about this. If anything. well, he was, John is always considered a good guy, a great locker room guy. He was, a, again, I use that word reliable again, probably too much. Uh, but he needed to work Conrad. And he was a very much, uh, respected and loved guy. And he was, a, he had a great look as far as unique, being a big athletic, big man. You know, John was a outstanding heavyweight at LSU, uh, division one, you know, they're in that sec she loved. And, uh, so John was there. I remember cowboy put on a match in Tulsa at the, uh, maybe center or you maybe center. It was an amateur, uh, card. Oklahoma versus, uh, LSU. And of course the last match of the turn of the duel was Dr. Death and John Tenta, two of the biggest and best heavyweights in, uh, in division one doc won that by the way, he was hard to handle. If he had just wrestled full time and not played football, I don't know how good the son would have been because he would leave football practice or bowl game practice or the bowl game and go right into the wrestling room. So he had to get in shape again and there's different kind of conditioning and the cardio is different. So, uh, we all love John and, and, and I think Patterson had a lot to do with that. They're friends. The Canadian connection never hurt nothing, but we all love John and, uh, in our hearts, we still do. He was just a sweetheart of a guy, but he just didn't quite get over the hump. The second go, the second time around you're talking about. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.